What's up guys, it's Valentina with Bigger Creations and today I'm going to show you this plugin that just came out from Waves that might very well be the ultimate lo-fi plugin. So like I said, this might be the ultimate lo-fi plugin, but I have made a few beats that are lo-fi on this channel and it's something that I actually want to dive deeper in and this might be what pushes me over to start making a little bit more lo-fi. So I'm gonna show you some of the things it's capable of doing. Honestly, it is a game changer. It's like taking RC20 to the next level. And not to say that it completely negates what RC20 does, but this is like a one-stop shop lo-fi sound plugin. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we have a beat, um, and this is what it sounds like without the plugin. So totally not a lo-fi song, but let me show you what this plugin can do. Uh, so it's called RetroFi, and here's the cool thing. There are a ton of presets that you can start with to kind of get an idea of what these knobs do, but it is super cool. You can change the era, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, change the tone, and then you can kind of add some space and, and delay to it, add some noise, some mechanics. So it's kind of like a, in my opinion, it's kind of like an upgraded version of RC20. So I have it right now on the drum bus. So uh, let's just experiment with some of the presets here. Um, let's look for one that's about drums. So this one's green car outside the party. Already sounds way more lo-fi. Uh, let's try something else. Stockton slap. Okay, that's a bit intense, but obviously we've got a lot of things going on. Drum break, W vibes. Now, these are just presets, but obviously you can do whatever you want here. Like, you can add more wobble, you can add more speed, uh, you can add more of like a ping pong effect with your delay and reverb. Uh, you can really mess with what it's, how it's impacting the sound, which is super, super cool. Um, and then, of course, you got your high pass and your low pass filter right here. So uh, that's just an example with drums. Now I'm super curious, I haven't tried this before, but there is a preset in here called, where is it? Horns, All of the Lights. And I have a feeling that that's referring to the Kanye West song, uh, All of the Lights. Um, so let me pull up a horn sound and let's see what it does to it. Okay, so we've got a basic horn sound. Let's add RetroFi to it, and let's use the All of the Lights plugin. Let's see, and let's see what's up. That's just messing around with the presets. Now I kind of just want to mess around with the knobs and see what they actually do. Um, so, so let's pull up some sounds and mess around with what this can really do. Now, before we jump into a little bit more depth about the RetroFi plugin, 
Uh, I just want to thank today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of courses to choose from. If you're watching this video, it's because you like to learn new things and you like to improve. Skillshare is the perfect platform to do that in a more structured environment with courses and specific topics that are made just for you. Lately, I've been watching this course that's all about how to do top line melodies for your songs and do some lyrics in songwriting. And even though I've been songwriting for over 10 years, it's still helpful to kind of see the way that other people approach the process and find little tips and tricks that can help me improve. So if you're looking for ways to continue to grow and develop creatively, check out Skillshare. They've got a ton of resources. The first thousand people to use the link in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare. Let's see um, what it does to this. So here's something interesting. I already have RC20 on this sound. This is what it is without RC20. And then with RC20. Let, let's see what we can do with the Retrofly plugin instead of the RC20. Um, let's just start with it. Here's the cool thing, you have a mix knob here, so you can decide how much is actually going into the mix, which is cool. All right, let's check out this middle section. So I actually think it would be cool to kind of combine these. So this is with it without anything. With RC20. Retrofy. There's definitely a lot of potential in how this 
plugin could be used. Um, obviously, I'm just using it for the first time. There are a lot of things here you can go through, different noise templates um, and sounds. So you can go to vinyl instead of cassette. Um, I really, really enjoyed this knob and the fact that you can kind of set the style between like the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Lots of cool things here. I'm definitely going to continue experimenting with this plugin. So there you have it, guys. That was a first look at the Retrofy plugin. I'm sure you're going to be seeing a lot more of it in my productions and in my future videos. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Do you think it's cool? Are you going to test it out? If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to UMS Future videos. And as always, if you ever want to see more content, check me out on Instagram. Keep making beats.